As you're all aware, the, world, um, the Global Entrepreneurship Week, it's a global initiative that is happening in 170 countries of the world um, between um, um, this Monday and Friday. It's an opportunity to actually celebrate the impact of um, entrepreneurs and to also enrich the entrepreneurship ecosystem. So it's a time when entrepreneurs gather together to share knowledge, to acquire knowledge, to connect together for greater opportunities and to know about new issues, new things that are coming and need to be given attention to. So for us at Mindega, we are here representing Google Digital Skills, who is supporting the Abuja Enterprise Agency to commemorate the Global Entrepreneurship Week 2018 in Abuja. And the focus is on digital skills, empowering the entrepreneurs within the Abuja Enterprise ecosystem of Google Digital Skills. That's what we're here. Right now, the world is going global. And um, every single person that is in business today is doing it to create value. So when you create value, one of the things you want to do, you want to get the value out to the people that need the value. So right from determining what you are going to create, to determining how you are going to create it, and to determining how you are going to offer the value to the potential customer, in order for you to get value back in terms of revenue, we realize that digital skills is a major value addition to entrepreneurship development. Why digital skills cannot stand in isolation? Digital skills is a fundamental value in this day and time to determine the kind of benefits that it, an entrepreneur can earn from the productivity and the services that they are rendering. It's been amazing. Uh, okay, so like you said, we started, we, we got involved with digital skills since 2016. And as, as you are aware, from 2016 to 2017, it was the first attempt to train about a million youth. And the result in that one year was so inspiring. And that is what led people to say, you know what? Because of the result we saw in this project, we think there should be another 10,000, another 10 million trained in the next five years. So what are the specifics that we have seen, for example? I tell you stories of some of the young guys that attended our, tra our training during the um, SDG training that we did nationwide. You know, and some of these amazing guys, just pick one or two of them from across the geopolitical zone. There was this amazing lady that was met at, uh, I think it was in Gombe State. This lady, she's into production of um, some local stuff, some local food that they did in the village. And she said, I do this thing, of course, I only service a few people in my village. Suddenly she heard about using, you know, social media to promote it and began, she began to actually put this thing online on social media. And that really, really helped. And one of the other things that she told us during that testimony was that she didn't know how to actually do this thing in a particular way. Then she began to actually approach, went to go and get content via YouTube. And she began to learn how to really, really produce this thing in a way that can meet, quote and unquote, according to our global standard. And so YouTube became an educational platform where she learned how to produce a, 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 a good. I'll tell you about another young guy that I met is from Iwo local government. You know, I mean, he's a little, you know, um, he, he works on crutches and his wife is into tailoring. So he said the wife was just a local tailor, just serving a few people here and there. And because she learned about how to use this online platform to more like kind of promote her business, she began to promote her business using social media. And that led her to even family friends that have abandoned, quote unquote, abandoned them, now begin to order for her to make clothes for them and she began to earn money in dollars. I also talked to you about another young lady who happens to be from your own side of town, from Calabar. And, and I mean, she attended the training, and I think you guys are the one that even trained her. And she attended the training, was like, okay, yeah, this training was good. But she went online and do further training, and she just finished her master's thinking about what to do with her life. So suddenly when she actually approached and learned about this training, she has always loved something about culture, about tourism. And she was like, you know, I don't have the money to actually set up a museum. 
But with these digital skills, I can actually aggregate all the valuable historical you know, artifacts that is all over the world. I can put them together in, in, my, in my neighborhood. I can put them together and actually show it to the world. Right now, she's running a program that is called City Museum. And right now, she's going to be showcasing you know, an event at the Calabar Carnival. Why? Because she leveraged technology to push what she wants to do all around in, in social. I can go on and on and tell you the story of another young lady who attended the program in, 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 in Badagri. In fact, our, our program was not so well, you know, it was not very, very tight. But she took the energy and went online, did the course. And, you know, she is a technology person. She's an IT person. But she never really knew how important our, our service could be to a typical SMEs. And as a result of, because of she attended the training, and she saw the huge importance in our providing this online support for a lot of small businesses. She started a, pro a project called First Wealth we actually support a whole lot of small businesses who couldn't afford to wear a house, you know, an IT person in their office, and she has customers, she's making money. I can go on and on and tell you the story of all these different people who have taken the energy, who are taking the, and that's what Google saw. And they said, you know what, let's do 10 million. Not only is this project help people to now begin to find education via YouTube, the new school for many of these guys right now is YouTube, and people are making the most of the time that they spend on the web. My, 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 my big, my big uh, message to every um, young entrepreneur in Nigeria is in 10 years that I've been privileged to engage with young people and I've been privileged to talk to a million of them through our programs all across the country. One of the things I've found that is, that is making all these young people come out is that they are becoming problem solvers, not complainers. They're identifying problems in their community that resonate with their own personal career they are going online using platforms like YouTube to really deepen their knowledge. You don't just go out as an entrepreneur and begin to create things without knowing whether the customer needs it. So when you use Google tools like Google Trend to really know what are people searching for, then when you now have your product, it's going to be a lot easier for you to pitch your product in line with the content that is trending. And through that, a whole lot of people are able to see the value that you bring on the table. As an entrepreneur, you are here to bring value. You are here to help. And as a result of that, you must find a way of getting the help to the people that need it. It's a mandatory, it's a responsibility. And I tell a lot of the entrepreneurs, oh, I don't have money. You can start whatever you are doing with zero naira. If you know how to leverage technology to actually move it to the next level. So my advice to a lot of young entrepreneurs in Nigeria is Nigeria is ready for business. The opportunities are enormous. We are among especially among the young people, we have over 80 million plus. That is a huge economy. We must service one another. Health, education, rural infrastructure, economic opportunity. I mean, you are building content. A lot of people want to put their content online. We need to see the need, see the problem I'm solving. Not just transactional. We have been too transactional. We are allowing need to drive our entrepreneurship. It should be solution. And when you do that, you level technology for wisdom to know what your customer needs, how to position it for them, even how to access resources, how to access funding. There are a lot of Nigerians all over the world that are actually looking for how to support Nigerians here, yeah, but they don't know how. So find a, an innovation hub. Find a platform where they can crowdfund you know, your, 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 your uh, can front equity for you is one of the things we are launching in Mind the Gap as we launch our youth economic platform. So, Nigerian youth, let's get, we need to meet our own needs, and that can only be done through entrepreneurship. Thank you very much.